Greetings YouTube, this is Jared with Self Reliance Essentials and Omnivore Blade Works. It's August 15th, 2015. Lots of news to share. We've got new blanks in the house. We've got a lot of other work that's in progress. I wanted to show you a few things real quick so that I have my prior art totally covered. Um, you guys in China who are watching, please don't steal my stuff. I don't like it when you do that. Those of you guys who like my stuff in the USA and want to kind of copy me, give me a call. I'll give you my blessing. This is the new 3B uh, shorty with a solid head. Um, got a request to do this by one customer, so I, I cut out two of them and uh, we'll make those. They'll just be axe and mohawk edge um, ground. This is a new sword that will have an I-beam construction in the middle that will be dull and then a saber blade at the end. This is an homage to John Carter of Mars. The name of this is Catharsis. We've got a sheep's foot style um, blade. This is a patentable handle profile geometry, I think, but I don't want to patent it because I believe in open source um, engineering. The concept here is that you pinch it between your middle finger and your pinky finger and you can manipulate many different things with your index and thumb while maintaining a control of your knife. So if you need to operate a rifle or if you need to tie your shoes or you need to pick flowers, you can keep your knife in your hand and pinch between these two hilts, pinky hilt index finger hilt. You also have the ability to hold the knife in a working grip so you have maximum purchase with your thumb for a lot of force into a cutting cut. Then you also have a grip for thrusting and then of course you have the grip where you could just cut your steak. Real simple. We got a sheep's foot blade and we have a dagger which is more of a combat oriented blade. These are the first uh, prototypes in quarter inch 1095. I'm planning on making them out of thinner 3V and AEBL stainless. Um, we also have a version which was my first inspiration was to do a chef's blade. So this is like a special forces chef's utility knife. Wide blade for cutting up your chives and cattail tubers, potatoes and whatnot when you're trying to survive out in the open. And then also a Bowie knife or clip point Bowie blade such as this, which is uh, what I'm working on. That's why I'm pushing forward right now because I got 12, 13 of these to make for a friend of mine who's having a, a wedding and 13 groomsmen. Uh, a couple of Americanus Bowies there and then a new new profile for the raven dagger which I'll show you in a second uh, tapered tang instead of straight tanuki tantos and underneath parvis um, utility bushfighter knives um, this is the batch that's going to be all heat treated next week we've got our totus on the left Jim the buoy um, dire wolf fighters blue jay uh, field trowels, or one of those. Murder two swords. I think there's four of those. Uh, two like that, and two different. The Ripper Gripper spine on the on the uh, Kodiak sword. Four megalodons. A bunch of ultralight ravens and crows, baby crows. Uh, a smattering of javelina variants. Um, utility blades, daggers, Warncliff well, straight Warncliffe, and some Tonto blades. And then there's the fuller fixture for the Arctotus. Um, we're holding off on the Tomahawks from this batch because I haven't had time to get the rotary table figured out um, because of this Grimson knife project. So there's a stack of Tomahawks. And then there's another stack of Tomahawks right there, which will probably accommodate everybody or most everybody on the list. I think that we'll have about 60 tomahawks to ship. We probably have another 60 to go after that. So I got to order more steel soon. Um, darn, I don't know if I described this yet. I've made 
two or three videos already trying to get this right. Anyway, this is uh, a knife with a handle that has features that I believe could be patentable, but I don't want to patent it because I believe in open source engineering, especially in the custom knife making community. This uh, handle has two hilts, one for your pinky and one for your index finger, well, or your middle finger. So you can hold it in your hand like so and do stuff with your, I think I already covered this. This is my idea. I ins it was inspired somewhat from uh, Sly Steel, so I pay homage to them, but the uh, the differences are pretty apparent. There's no enclosure. You can hold the knife in your hand, do stuff, and then drop it without ripping your fingers off. Uh, let me know if you want to use it if you're in this market, and uh, I'll give you my blessing as long as you're not doing it somewhere else other than America. Here's more blanks. Um, we got a new dagger, the unkindness, and then we got a couple of Horus short swords, Horribilis. I got. I owe guy. I owe a couple of people some of these things, and then murder twos. No, regular murders with. Instead of the first version, we got a little spiky thing on the hilt, which is kind of neat, dangerous. Um, back in the grinding room, which will eventually house that Wilmot grinder, but I have been so busy with other things that I haven't made the stand yet. I haven't bought the steel for it. Here in the grinding room, we still have a stack of jackal tomahawk blanks down there which will get processed later this summer or this fall and then we have the murder 2 sword with a continuously variable grind line which was very difficult to make then we've got some more regular kodiaks and then this will be the beater version of the murder 2 because it's got a bad laser cut job done on it and then we've got the new Recon Imamba Tomahawk. It'll be a one-hander with a hidden tang handle. Kind of a difficulty level there with the grind. And then this is going to France. This is a Kodiak I owe a fellow named Jean, which I wish I'd been able to finish a long time ago, but I didn't. So, Jean, if you're watching this, it's coming soon. And then we have a onesie. One out of three Z actually of a more authentic shaped Wakasaji. Not authentic at all, but more authentic than the previous. Um, that's all I got for you right now. I'm really going to be busting my butt trying to get things done because I have deadlines and because. I'm kind of broke right now and there's not any cash flow because I haven't shipped anything in a long time. We're going to have more javelinas coming. Maybe we'll do a nickel plated batch. That'll be kind of fun. Um, I hope you'll be patient with me. I really have the best uh, intentions in terms of getting things finished. My shoulder's better. I'm working at full capacity and I want to get everything done and everybody happy so that my reputation stays in good standing and and I continue making quality products. Hopefully we'll be expanding and getting the shop in better order in the next year. Um, there's a lot to do. Until next time, this is Jared signing off.